I'm here today on Island Focus with Sarah Nguyen, who is a restaurant owner and board member with the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Aloha, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Lila, for having us. Thank you. You know, you are in the middle as a restaurant owner and association member, too, of redesigning, be rethinking, but also recovering from what we've experienced with COVID-19 here in Hawaii. Um, can you share a little bit about your experiences and what do you envision for the future? Being a first-time business owner, I own a restaurant. Um, it's called The Pizza Press in Pearl City, um, Hawaii. And being a first-time business owner is tough already. Um, being a first-time business owner during a pandemic, it's pretty scary. And thankfully, um, you know, we had the resources that are, were available with Hawaii Restaurant Association. So it leaned a lot as far as with um, the support that they provided. And as a business owner, the first shutdown was scary. The second shutdown was brutal. But thankfully, that um, we were able to open up dining recently. And it's definitely a team effort from the our loyal customers that are coming out to support us, whether it's takeout, dining, or delivery, to our staff that's been resilient um, through the changes of all this. Contactless uh, payment, contactless menus that are available, ordering through the app. So those are some of the adjustments that we've made. They're here to stay. You know, there's 50% dining. So with some businesses, 50% dining is not going to be, um, you're not able to break even with that. Some restaurants are able to, some restaurants aren't. To be able to have outdoor dining available, thank you so much for Mayor Codwell. So we appreciate that. Well, it, it sounds like you've gone from fear with the first shutdown to frustration and the second. And now, as we don't know what's going to happen, I don't know, I get the sense that this uh, opportunity for creativity um, actually is kind of exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. And, and I think, you know, as a business owner, um, business owners are resilient. So what are some of those creative ideas that are already existing? $500 Hawaii restaurant card that was a part of the $75 million relief fund um, that was available. And so that is super helpful for the restaurant industry. For every $1 that's spent at the restaurant, $1.82 goes back to the economy. And that is to hire the employees back, buy from the local suppliers, buy from the local farmers. So that's been very, very beneficial. And that restaurant card is available to everybody? No. So it would be a person that is uh, filed for unemployment after March um, and received payment in um, September. So I believe there's 116,000 cards that uh, have been sent out. Um, and so they're out there and, and it couldn't come at a better time. As far as with ordering from the app, just giving an example, um, Zippies, they have an app to order. I mean, it was a project that they've been wanting to do for a very long time. But with the pandemic, they had to look outside. How are they able to generate more revenue and more sales? Online ordering with app ordering, it's at the tip of your fingers. You know, you just order, drive up to Zippies, they put it in your trunk. There's no contact there. And they've seen customers that ordered weekly because it was just so easy uh, to order. And you mentioned also about the adjustments of eating outside. If the inside capacity is limited, growing up in Hawaii, we used to be able to do that. <laughs> there were cafes on the street. How do you see that working into the Restaurant Association's message? When you're 50% capacity, you're still having to pay 100% of your rent. Mm. You know, the economics of that. Um, and to be creative. And so if it's 50% inside, could we have 50% outside, which um, with Mayor Caldwell, they approved a sidewalk uh, to be able to have sidewalk dine-in. And so we'll see more of that. Uh, my brother-in-law um, in California, they had the restrictions where there was no dining that was available. There was a patio outside. There were some um, areas that were public areas and they brought everything out. And he fortunately was able to do better during that time than pre-COVID. So to be able to have the support of the council members, to be able to have um, approval and sidewalk dining and, and to kind of think outside of the box and, and what we need to do. So that's the word pivot has been used to describe how businesses have adjusted. People are saying, oh my gosh, pivot, pivot, pivot. But it, it, I feel like it's an appropriate word. I was a former dancer and, um, you know, you can't, it's, it's not a one trick pony. It's not, a, it's not just a one, it's not just a chasse, it's not just a turn. Uh, it's to be able to move or bend backwards, do jumps, uh, whatever it takes to be able to 
be able to adjust to the changing environment and just to survive. And actually, you make it sound like it could be fun. <laughs> um, I, I am an optimistic person and, um, you know, the glass is always half full for me. Um, it's exciting uh, for me to be able to create new things during this time. Um, for us, we were able to have create um, take home pizza kits that we didn't have before. We thought of, we've been talking about doing that. So take home pizza kits, take home experiences. And you'll see a lot of that with other restaurants. They'll do meal kits. Um, take home experiences, making pizzas at home or cupcakes at home or or having a, a gourmet dinner that you're able to create at home. So you'll see more of those. And so it's it's been fun. It's been fun to be able to create something out of nothing. And, and uh, so I've been having, we've been having fun with that. What it sounds like to me is that you also value family, community, Aloha spirit, having having the values of who we are as island people. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for joining us on Island Focus today and meeting Sarah Nguyen, who is a board member with the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Aloha. <laughs>